So Jambo guys, these are your guys, Zeki and welcome back to Zeki Show. So kama vile tulua promise, kama kawaida, tunaleta mahasla, watu pale mtani, vila unajituma, vila unahakad. So from the streets of Doha, leo tuko in the streets of Nairobi, Kenya, ama uku ni wabi? Ngong Town. Streets za Ngong Town. Ngong Town ni kuna streets? Ama street ni moja? Hii estate ni Madhari. Madhari ya Ngong? Hmm. Asante asante zeki mm -hmm. na karibu tena Ngong. Thank you so much. Um, asante kwa kunialika kwa show yako. Mm -hmm. Karibu. Kwa um, uh, Ruth Nge, mm -hmm. uh, aka Flavor. Ma Flavor. Yes, Ma Flavor. Flavor mm -hmm. zote watu uh, ile mtu anasikia kwa comfortable. Nice. Yes, mm -hmm. so um, currently I'm uh, Kenya's strongest uh, woman first quarter of the year. Yeah, very nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm also uh, Masters uh, Powerlifting Champion, Kenya, mm -hmm. ladies. Mm -hmm. And uh, second runners up, Powerlifting, Kenya, ladies, current. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, many being uh, uh, gym for the first time about four years ago. Mm -hmm. And my main aim is to go gym ilikuwa to encourage eh, ama to boost weight loss journey yangu. Mm -hmm. New weight loss yang, journey yangu likuwe me hit a plateau. Mm -hmm. Then uh, someone advised me, maybe ukijaribu kuingia gym, mm -hmm. apart from kufanya hizo home workouts, kwa unu fanyanga home workouts, mm -hmm. ni kuwa na do long walks pia, was also doing hiking. Mm -hmm. Sama maybe ukijua in gym, ukiguza guza hizo equipment, yeah. ita boost maybe your weight loss, mm -hmm. ita it break your plateau. Mm -hmm. So I joined uh, gym 20, 2019. Mm -hmm. That was my first time really ever in gear into a gym. So mm -hmm. 2019, uh, Feb February, mm -hmm. February, yes. Mm -hmm. So I uh, I didn't have a trainer. Mm -hmm. So I was watch YouTube, uh, training different body parts because Kwazile home workouts, wale matrina walikuwa wanatupatia different workout every day. So, yeah, nakuwa so, na idea program. that mm -hmm. uh, kuna upper body, kuna lower body, kuna leg day, kuna back, kuna mm -hmm. uh, siku ya mkono, chest day. So, when I entered the gym, mimi mwenye ni kajitolea program kwa YouTube, and then that is what I used to uh, program myself. Mm -hmm. And kwa nangalia programs, and then I'll try the, the sets and the reps. Yeah. Kwa kinda kwa gym, kwa naenda na kitabu, ndo nasoma na jo, my next workout uh -huh. ni hili. Yeah, yeah, watu inga mfanya hivyo. <laughs> uh. Sani kaendelea tu hivyo, then uh, kuna group moja tuko uh, ladies fitness hapa Kenya, inetu operation lose that pot, uh, operation lose that pot belly. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So kwa hiyo group, there were some strong women who were kwa hiyo group. Uh -huh. Strong women athletes. Akaniambia, listen, strong, uh, Kenya's strongest man competition in, in Akuja in qualifies iko in May. Mm -hmm. Unaweza jaribu u train wane kama jumina wana venyo wana train. Mm -hmm. Unakane kama unaweza hizi mzito mzito. Mm -hmm. Because eh, nilikuwa naendanga every week na jipata, ay, imbo na imekua light. And then say, come you light, then that means you're stronger. So yeah, add true. the weight. Mm -hmm. So kanza ku. And you could have progression. Eh, yeah. So you could have seen the money, you could have light, you could have the first uh -huh. times. Uh -huh. Then you could have Google, you could no, if it's lighter, that means you're stronger. So yeah, add true. weight. Yeah, add weight. Mm -hmm. So that's how I, 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 I continued adding weight. Mm -hmm. When Io kit, I think it was in March when it was announced that Io. Kenya strongest man competition itakuwa Nairobi qualifiers itakuwa I think it was in June. Mm -hmm. June or May if I'm not if I'm not wrong. So that lady akasema ebu jaribu na akantumia link ya hiyo page. Mm -hmm. So I went and I looked at the weights. I wasn't so far off hata kwa deadlift nilikuwa nimefika kitu ka 80. Ah na so qualify ilikuwa gawa mimi. Squat nilikuwa nimefika sijui 80 kgs pia or 90. Mm -hmm. So I was not so far. So qualifiers, ilikuwa, squat ilikuwa max. Deadlift ilikuwa 100, 100 kgs for, for, nini, for reps. Mm -hmm. Alafu kulikuwa na sack, sandbag curry. Mm -hmm. um, weights ilikuwa kidogo. Zilikuwa 40, zilikuwa 40, 50, 60. Mm -hmm. Alafu kulikuwa na farmer's curry. Farmer's curry ilikuwa 60, 60. It was 120. So you look at first first time competition. Mm -hmm. So you is on me as I nilenda to YouTube tena. 
Utafuta utafuta how those workouts are done yeah. techniques well, strong man, and form lift. for mm. me form form and the technique have always been my key point hizo vitu mbili hizo hata heri hata nikose kupiga reps mingi lakini mm. form yangu isivunjike mm. na technique yangu isipote yeah, uh -huh. so so nikaenda i don't know what i was thinking kusema tu kweli because <laughs> come to think of it later on that was a big 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 risk a big leap Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Maybe ni fit. Nikaenda hiyo Kenya strongest man qualifiers. Mm -hmm. Um I kitu but <laughs> iko nipiga kitu kabisa See, kabisa. But you are new in the game was, so and then I didn't mm -hmm. have any coach. Mm -hmm. Nilienda kwa kiwanja. I didn't even know that lazima kuwa na handler. Uh -huh. I didn't know nothing about any kind of uh, supplementation. Mm -hmm. I was just there. Nona by the time if you get the last event ya sandbag carry ni kwa msema sitaki kuifanya so man told me don't ever <laughs> go to up. a competition mm. and give up vuta tu fanya mpaka pale utaweza unaona mm. at least we'll get encouraged for the next eh. uh, sport mm. Mm. so i remember carrying that 40 and 50 kgs comfortably the 60 kgs i couldn't even bring it down i didn't know the technique i didn't know nothing how to mm. lift it to put it your lap stand up i see kona jo cho cho te unaona it ni kwa tu na drag but anyway ni sawa tu hiyo ilikuwa first time za jani until you were a Kenyan song woman it's a jani of course it's a jani first time so i was and then i was just in the kiwanja looking at some hey, people have coaches me i don't even have a coach <laughs> come people have coaches uh -huh. so so ni kwa tu nasikia tu ni kwa discouraged but ni kwa encouraged pia ni mm. kwa tunaka mm. siko najua any any strong man or strong woman athlete mm. ni kwa tuka stranger sa mm. pale kwa tense za athlete ni kwa tunaangalia tu watu hivi kuna eh, watu wanapotea ah, vipi vipi oh, 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 yeah. to... they even know each other yeah, we didn't know anybody and mm. i was like just yeah, ni kwa tunaangalia tu watu wanataka nisalimi sa sa so poor that's <laughs> end of conversation hakuna kitu kingine ya kuongea um so 2019 ikaisha hivyo kama bado tunaendelea na story za gym hivyo mm -hmm. but i performed quite well goes hata ni PR masiko tuko ma 120 hizo mm. deadlift 100 kg sijui ni fanya ngara rep 7 wow eh hiyo farmers carry i finished mm -hmm. um sandbag carry na hiyo 60 kg <laughs> kanipiga kitu hiyo <laughs> eh, so that that was now my first strongman competition mm -hmm. uh, Then uh, fast forward tukaingia corona and the same year ya corona kuingia now actually tukini tukiingia tukiingia sasa into into 2020 nilikuwa ninajua the next strongman competition itakuwa ya cuts yeah kamkunji kamkunji yeah you are wearing even kamkunji t-shirt yes that is uh. that was now 2020 mm. march i knew it was going to be in march mm. so nikasema acha ni nianze ku prepare hiyo na sa already nisha pata the hang of it nisha ona okay okay so in that process ya ku jitarisha to go and compete for march i got my I had a sick grandchild sorry needed mm -hmm. special attention sa hiyo mwaka yote ilikuwa in preparation ya ku manage because she needed the surgery mm -hmm. Uh, eventually tukaenda so hiyo 2020 hata nda corona hata ikaingia but then I was also caught up hata most gyms were closed mm -hmm. that was 2020 kaisha hivyo 2021 after um after I came from hospital it was uh, recuperating for the child so 2021 mm -hmm. akuna kitu nilifanya mm -hmm. nilirudi sasa gym 2022 february mm -hmm. now the gym yenye nilianza nayo it was closed down time of uh, covid mm -hmm. and then they transferred the the e branch ya ngongo akaipeleka kawangwari mm -hmm. so one of the trainers mwenye alikuwa kwa hiyo gym kampigia simu then eh hey, watu wana train wapi nini nini aniambia oh kuna kuna kwa gym nyingine hebu kama uone so that's how i ended up here apa at the cage cage gym in cage yeah, you see how the, <laughs> the equipment is behind there <laughs> kweli ni mae kama za strong man. Eh sasa unajua penye nilianzia gym tulikuwa tunatumia zile free weights. So when I came here nikapata the the weights ni hizi za za concrete. At first 
nilikuwa na jaribu kufikiria nita adapt aje mm. the difference and then the bars are slightly bigger the groups need to fall yeah the groups are different yeah but within time ukazoea nikazoea mpaka sasa niko tu sawa tu niko tu sawa hata mm. hata sioni any problem so now eh si tumemaliza sasa tume, tu, then that was in february so battlefield wakatoa wakatoa poster ya competition mm-hmm. that was a powerlifting competition that's mm-hmm. the first powerlifting competition ever to be held in Kenya mm-hmm. they, 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 it was in april mm-hmm. so when when nili ambwa sasa tuoneza nza hapa kimya came here I came to the cage nikapata um, coach Moses nikasema mm. nikamwambia okay I'd like to train for this unaweza kuni train akasema yes unaweza mm. kutrain so that's how ni nilianza ku train na nikapata sasa coach mm. kaendelea hivyo so atukunaendelea ku train February hivyo mm. then nani Chris hapo katikati ya February mm. um cuts wakatoa events za 2022 mm. Zilikuwa March, right? Zilikuwa March. Mm. Zilikuwa March 24th. Na mimi nilikuwa so novice because this was my second strongman competition. Yeah. So nikaingia novice. Mm-hmm. Trained very well, got trained very well. We were 11 ladies, I came fourth. Yeah, very nice. Nani alikuwa wa kwanza? The first was a lady called Ivo Tieno. Mhm. Alafu The second one was uh, who was number two? Why am I forgetting number two? But I remember number three was Esther. Mm-hmm. Esther Champe. Eh, Esther Champe. Yeah. Eh, it was Esther Champe. I can't remember who number two was. I don't even know why I missed how. But me I came in fourth. Mm-hmm. And like I told you, technique ni kitu muhimu sana kwa strongman. Uh-huh. Unaweza kuwa uko strong lakini kama una technique uh-huh. unaanguka. Mm-hmm. So unapata hiyo surprise event ilikuwa ilikuwa nini ilikuwa ya gunia mm-hmm. sandbag throw over 1.2 yeah. sikuwa najua hiyo technique sikuwa najua ni nini ndio chini uweke hapa kwa nini sikuwa na ah. sikuwa najua kabisa wenye unafaa ku i said trying to kupeana excuses oh i'm short but they were short at least <laughs> who lifted heavier ah. than that then i realized ni technique but mm. and that that's what threw me from number two because in the leading points i was number two mm-hmm. you can you can rush and back number four mm-hmm. because technique liquid <coughs> zero zero mm-hmm. um now that was my second strongman competition mm-hmm. then down the year tuka, tukapata tena competition ingine ya 48 shred uh, it was invitational for strong women i came in fourth mm-hmm. and then in december I did my second powerlifting meet in the organized na Uzani. Mm-hmm. Uh, I joined the uh, masters. If I not to join it's automatic because of the age. Mm-hmm. So I was in the masters. So masters nika chukua hiyo was first position and then the overall ladies or what when you walikuwa hapo I came in second. Mm-hmm. Mm. That was now that that the second powerlifting competition. Mm-hmm. In ja- in uh, February in oi, March mm-hmm. March this year no so, so in February this year uh, battlefield sasa when you organize the first powerlifting sasa waka, waka, waka fanya their first strongman competition mm-hmm. so hii nikaenda hii nikachukua kakuwa number one. kachukua I was, I was really prepared well sasa unajua niko na coach sasa yeah. uh-huh. coach anajua weaknesses zako na mm-hmm. strengths zako sasa anafinya finya hapa na funga hapa na fungua hapa mm-hmm. so i want that now the next strongman competition is coming up in a few days time i think to, uh, 20 28 28th of uh, may, may. Mm-hmm. Yeah, kama kunji. Yeah. Yeah, kama kunji. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this will be my second time yeah. na compete. Lakini sasa siko on office. Mm-hmm. Sasa niko open with the big girls. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. So wish you all the best. Uh, thank you very much. So, mm-hmm. kwa hizi preparation zako into mm-hmm. strong woman, I'm a mm-hmm. strong man. Mm-hmm. Challenges gani umeko kiface apart from like umesema coach ilikuwa shida technique like uh, lack of the idea about the techniques you are using. So challenges gani apart from that umekuwa kifollow yani ukiface uh, challenge nyingine pia mm-hmm. nilinotice ni chakula mhm sikuwa na know how 
yeah, yeah. about the diet yes mm -hmm. yeah yeah food lazima kula haja hapa everything hata sub, hata supplementation mm -hmm. coach amenifundisha zote mm -hmm. amenifundisha my how to 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 eat mm -hmm. what to eat mm -hmm. when to eat because mm -hmm. you know, sasa si strong tunakula karibu mara tano kwa siku so diet yako ni five meals a day five four to five uh -huh. but now towards competition lazima uongeze Mm -hmm. now we have to cab load. Now just as a competition, So talking about diet, mm. kama like uh, of course we be out to see ripa lenge. Ati mi na kula maya subu iso stage ukipanda. But these meals, mm. na kuaga divided into different of how many hours? Uh, four, four hours. Four hours. Mm, four so hours. in this way, in the morning na kula mm. heavy and then light snack and then heavy. Ama how does it work? Actually, me si nanga snack. Me wo divide two food zangu yeah. hizo meal zote. Sasa so mukimo mukimo gideri mukimo ugali. Sasa so eh, ugali tu ndio nakula anga tu usiku usiku yeah. ndio ni shibe. <laughs> but ugali. Uh -huh. Ugali si a strong man. Uh -huh. eh, ugali si a strong man. Sasa so, basi na, na nikitoka nikitoka home because me ni morning person na ku train. Mhm. Mm Unakula alafu una um, hii time ya saa ina nikuta niko gym. Mm -hmm. Naenda nakula lunch and then phone nitakula nitakula tena. Mm -hmm. Alafu tena nikula tena around 9 o'clock usiku. Mhm. Mm so me so, eat four meals. Mm -hmm. uh, during during these times lakini mm -hmm. sasa tukikaribia the last two weeks ya competition lazima nitaongeza one more meal. Mm -hmm. Whether I like it or not. Mm -hmm. Nafika utabidi mpaka ni force feed juu. Sasa nyingine inashinda kukula juu <laughs> umeshiba yeah, but mm -hmm. una force feed ama una blend una ikunywa ka soup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> eh, hey, so hii inabidi tu. You know. Unakuja ka soup na lazima tu kule ka strong one. So hizo mm hizo -hmm. challenges ndio zile kwa hizo studies za eh, chakula skule ni understand maneno ya food. Mm -hmm. ni, ka, ni ikawa cause unapata hizi vitu kama supplements. Mm -hmm. Let's say for example creatine. Creatine ni za ni za fanya kazi vizuri but bila sa, bila food haiwezi kuku supplement vizuri. Mm. Cuz most people think that wewe ukikula sawa pati sasa wewe strong juu nini? Ah. Ati food si lazima. Sasa zote lazima zi work pamoja. Mhm. Na alafu eh, kujua pia uki supplement lazima u break pia. Mm -hmm. So me each after every competition huwa na break yeah una cha kutumia supplements only yeah, food yani. only food huwa mm. na break mm. kikaribia maybe two months before mm. tena naanza tena mm. ku supplement but si make at ndio hiyo ndio inafanya tinafanya na kuwa strong lazim food mm. alafu pia rest yeah rest ni kwanga challenging sana kwangu kwa mpata na lala 6 hours uh -huh. 5 hours mm. so itabidi ikabidi sana nikaanza kujiforce kujifundisha kulala at least 7 hours so you need overnight ama ukiamka you train and then you go back to sleep. Uh, what do you mean overnight? Like si unajua watu tunalala usiku. Eh. So it means ukinalala usiku mm. unamka very early in the morning mm. kwa gym but kuna vile unaweza train in the morning and then mm. you go back to sleep. Oh napping. Mm. Napping ina kuanga. But so, afternoon maybe 30 40 minutes mm. one hour unaweza nap. Hiyo ni normal hiyo. Mm au oh, saa zingine unaweza kosa kunap mm -hmm. but zile zile 7 hours so you mean the 7 Azima. hours are supposed to be usiku usiku see it you na break at me am can then have to complete my 7 mm -hmm. hours after mm -hmm. napping mm -hmm. one hour you need continuous in continuous mm -hmm. ah so rest in recommended actually ni 8 hours mm -hmm. but najaribu juni kwa umetoka kwa 5 6 sasa nimefika 7 mm -hmm. jaribu push push ni ni one goes even hiyo uh, time ya kulala ku rest mm -hmm. It's also time of recovery and it's also building. Mm -hmm. You're also building yourself. It, in a kwani, it, it goes together. Mm -hmm. mm. So my other question is, kama um, tangu wanze hii mazoezi, mm. umeface uh, challenge ya injuries. Ojo injuries ni more, maybe some people outside they think like power lifting or lifting a dumbbell is just easy. Mm. Like hakuna injuries someone as in car. Umeface any injuries ama challenges ka hizo? Mm. Mm -hmm. Ata injuries, ata, ata, especially back, Mm. Sasa zingine unaweza kuwa una load una load vibaya una gongwa kidole. Mm. Sasa zingine una unatoa weights in a sleep na kwangu. Especially when uh -huh. I'm, oh, the time I was doing chest. Uh -huh. Kaniangukia hapo and ni kitu unaona umezoea kufanya but sometimes That's it just accident. happens yeah. Mm. Sometimes mm. it just happens. There's even a time nilikuwa nikienda sasa hii power lifting ya ya December 2022. Nilikuwa na naenda nyumbani alafu 
mtoto akakuja mbele nikiendesha bike akakuja mm. mbele so he can force ni swerve into the bush sigonge huo mtoi sasa so, unajua kuingia kwa hiyo bush ni kama kidole ili yumia mm. na kesho yake niko na competition mm. so ni dienda hivyo nilienda hivyo na hiyo mm. kidole ilikuwa so painful and then in power lifting you don't use straps mm. una kama inge kwa strong man free traps ni hizi vitu za kufunga eh, hapa and then you mm. tie them on the bar yes mm. So nikaenda hivyo na competition kama kidole imefure na uma but nikai mm. massage nikai paka rob kila kitu nikameza mpaka <laughs> pain killer sasa so, sasa nilenda tu hivyo eto so painful but hope uh, you made it through yes i won i won that competition nah, that's mm. nice the so, challenges nyam na face up mm. so the other question is uh, unaona kama hizi with zenu mm. of course i believe huwa mna ziwei before you make them mm. ama before you unazikorogea you know kilo side moja ni 50 and the other side is 50 but as time goes kianguka nguka zina lose weight actually what how it's done because mm. nilipata hiyo privilege ya coach akitengeneza the sec, this second lot is like mm. pale mm. anakata the same ana measure hizo the height hizo hizo mm. mitungi mm. anakata the same place mm. sana so, ana jaza tu the concrete hapo ndani after they have dried zimeka zimekauka tunamwagilia maji mpaka zimekauka ndio sasa tunaziwe mhm kisha ziwe unajua hii ni this kilo hii ni this kilo but as time so, goes you was in a lose kilo like ukisha kisha toka the kilogo, but no no kama you see like those yellow ones mm. that's 41 mm. kama hata kama itaishaisha itakuja Ita ibaki hapo kwa 40 uh, itakuwa pia umetoka kama point sasa hata kama utapata ni, ni 41 mm. we don't count the one mm you leave it at 40 or sometimes the weight can be 30.2 grams yeah 100 grams so evil. that is that so we just say you need 30 ndio hiyo nyingine tunaiwacha kama itabambuka but itabambuka kabisa because we take care of the weights ah that's good we take care of them ah so my other mm. question is umesema you are a mom and you are a grandmother mm. so una manageaje time yako ya gym mm. ya familia because mm. as a mom we expect mm. mama kwa home like most of the time But oh, yeah, most sisi. of the time tunaona uko gym. <laughs> sisi sisi mom yeah. tunakwanga multitaskers. Yeah. Tunaweza multitask vitu mingi sana. Yeah. Because uh, because uh, for actually I, I don't have a, a young child now mm-hmm. apart from sasa our grandchildren. Mm-hmm. But for uh, manage time ni rahisi. Cuz kwanza asubuhi unafanya vitu zako. Mm-hmm. By time nikuje niingie kwa gym 10 to 12. Mm-hmm kuna time yangu nikitoka hapo najua naenda kufanya this and this next mm-hmm. so ikwangi ngumu mm-hmm. ikwangi oh, ngumu nice. mums we multitask jo hata unaweza kuwa umelala hivi lakini hujalala kabisa because unasikiza unasikia mtoto anatoa sauti fulani na ume, ume black out mm-hmm. sasa una kongo umelala jicho moja kwa sungura <laughs> <laughs> so umesema mm-hmm. actually she said uh, ni grandmom so we expect atauliza age jo ladies <laughs> atauliza age but <laughs> As a grandmother mm. uh uka join gym like mm. four years ago mm. na kuna motion hapa nje mm. ladies na queen wa chuma like strong man mm. ni vitu ni kama ladies they are not into it so wewe kama as a mom mm. as a lady mm. and as a grandmother unaweza encourage aje the ladies outside there about uh, strong man and strong woman mm. I think uh, people should not be afraid because ni, ni hata nikianza gym most people walikuwa na ni discourage na niambia oh sasa ute oh, oh, nenda gym mm-hmm. umeanza kuni hizo chuma utaanza kuwa mwanaume sijui nini <laughs> and yeah. all that but hiyo even if i come to the gym and i build uh, muscle or i build my strength i'm building my strength and my muscles as a lady because yeah. i'm not a man yeah true i'm mm. a lady true mm. even muscles zangu ziki come zinakuja za dem azikuja mm. ati oh ni za mwanaume <laughs> zi kuna hizo motion sasa unapata hata wengi wakikaa kwa gym mtu anaogopa kulitevi sana jua anaona kaa tangu kaa ka, eh kaa mm. mwanaume but in Kenya right now hiyo phobia imeanza kuishaisha mm. most people because people wameingilia wameingilia crossfit wameingilia mm. hiking kidogo tu uh, ladies in strong man wanaogopa because of the weights the way they look uh, heavy mm-hmm. but it's a very enjoyable sport nice. na sasa tuko na two categories kuna novice 
the lightweight when you're new. Mm -hmm. And then kuna sasa open for us who are experienced. Yeah. No na. Sasa mtu mtu afai ku kuogopa. Mtu afai kuogopa. They should just join whichever sport. Mm -hmm. They can choose strong man. They can do power lifting. Kwanza power lifting is easy in events to start to squat, deadlift na bench. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Aya. Ah, yeah. um, um crossfit it's just fitness lakini wako na kidogo dogo weights yeah mtu achoose to the sport an attacker mm -hmm. which is enjoyable to them mm -hmm. and they do i've seen ladies who started in strong one wakaruka wakaenda crossfit unaona wale walikuwa crossfit wamerudi wameruka wamekuja strong man mm -hmm. no set wamerudi wame come to his side so ni, 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 ni le place mtu ana feel and then when you train mm -hmm. unasikia strength yako inaenda yeah, yeah. are you growing kama una grow then unajua yo getting better mm. so kama unaona u grow kuna vile unaweza ku maintain pad fulani ama you go and review yourself ah ni wapi kuna makosa and all that mm. but I encourage especially the ladies wa come na kwa power lifting pia naona mm. bench bench ndio nimeanza kuifanya uh, serious benching here mm -hmm. at the cage sasa coach amekuwa kinifundisha techniques and ways of doing my bench and that is the hardest hardest workout for a lady mm -hmm. bench press bench is the hardest mm. it's the hardest because as women our power is below mm. our power be more is below up in a kwanga men do wanna dominate mm. so um uh, the reason why i'm saying the ladies our power is below because or uh, because of uh, this natural nini ya kubeba yeah, like mimba and all that and so our, mm. our 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 hips are strong mm. our legs are strong so you could train migu in a kwa rise for ladies yeah, true. Mm. than men that's jay jua hiyo eh inakuwa hivyo so you know don't know that men they are stronger in bench because mm. that is where they are, their power dominates it's, more mm. Mm. Eh uh, sindo hiyo inakuanga because men they are there to defend the women so that's mm. why the, their power walipona exactly. god inakuwa hapo <laughs> juu. Mm. Mm. Sasa so, unapata bench na kwa ngumu sana for you to grow but eh yangu e, imekuja vizuri. Mm. Sasa mm. next uh, power lifting meet. <laughs> Chatu, so wale competitors wako pale nje just Staki watch out kutua. for my flavor hapa <laughs> just watch out. So guys watch out. So flavor umesema at the sponsors me kwa trick dog but at least you have a friend a good mm. will friend when you share at least kukulipia registration fee mm. but in this case unaona kama kuna registration fee kuna preparation mm. do you feel muko well appreciated na event organizers hapa Kenya kama uh, athletes mm, prize, like the prize money yenye natoka prize money bado iko chini sana because it doesn't even cover even the cost of food mm -hmm. Uh, alafu kuna uh, gym subscriptions mm -hmm. kuna supplementation sasa iko tu chini sana mm -hmm. unajua mtu anaweza taka uh, afanye hii sport kama kama career kama uh, a source of income mm -hmm. na unapata lazima ukue una balance because unajua pale prize money iko tu chini sana mm -hmm. sana mm -hmm. yes the sport uh, kupata sponsorship because most people how i understand mm -hmm. So hiyo ina inawapea maybe some kind of challenge. Mm -hmm. But pia maybe if they can up the game kidogo pia. Kwa mm -hmm. sababu mm -hmm. watu wa kidogo watu wa kujua hizi vitu. Mm -hmm. Na watu kuka mingi kwa kuwatch strongman wana kama mingi vizuri au come through vizuri. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So wajaribu pia. So ndio mtu afeel yenyewe na kwa well appreciate. Mm -hmm. At least unaweza put your love the, next. Yeah, we mm -hmm. love the game. Mm. Tio pia au pia wajaribu saidi yao. Mhm. Mm Jaribu ku kuongeza at least the prize money. And also sponsors because people don't understand uh, I mean individual sponsors like mtu understand strong mami nini. Mm. Wana fikiria ngani bodybuilding, wana fikiria ngani weightlifting lakini hizo zote ni sports tofauti kabisa. Ah, Wao mm. kama ni mtu anaweza pata sponsor pia na kwa mzuri. Mhm. Mm. Pata sponsor watu kama mm. inaitwaje i supplement ni UN na mitaje nini this one supplement uh, company oh in Kenya yeah, oh uh, USN. USN USN yeah uh, there are many other companies because the mm. only company are supplements mm. kuna companies are food mm. zinyesina supply eh mm. kuna 
Kuna companies mingi sana. Hata unga limited mm. wanaweza kupatia. Hata eh yeah, wako. Yeah, Hata chicken in. Yeah. Ah, I'm sorry. Um uh, Kenchik. Kenchik. Eh ama <laughs> wataka pizza. <laughs> ama med, 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 uh, uh, Medina Butchery wanaweza yeah. kudu sponsor na nyama pia. Unaona uh, vitu ni mingi. Yeah, nice. So umesema mm. kama wewe unaona uli join fitness ukiwa 48. Mm. Sisi hapa tunashindwa tunaongoja nini? Mm. Actually this is the right time to join. Mm. So we unaweza advise aje? Like either the young ladies or the older ladies who are scared to start now, since we well, start at. Okay, for me, mm. the, na, na, na feel, na encourage the older ladies more, mm. because the younger ladies are na fikiri what what wana jua, um, what sport they want to enter into. Well, the mm. older ladies, because what wengi wao na gopa, kam gym, kunua weights mzito, wana na o ni taumia mgongo, o sijui ni na nini but ukipata coach mwenye ataku run through na kugroishe pia was mm. where's your gopa where's your gopa niona mm. nilikuwa na, na, na i remember my first deadlift uh, party one of the ladies alinuanga a uh, uh, first call yake ilikuwa 180 kgs mm. na mimi my first call was at 100 and i was like eh, when i grow up <laughs> now you are 180 me it's <laughs> not so as at now unaweza actually unaweza lift what is your heaviest lift, uh, deadlift? For now, because it's a competition around the corner, mm. you have to take a two. Take up, kasiri. Take up, to easy on the upper. But uh, your mm. last competition, what was your heaviest? Um, I maxed at 190 kgs. So 190 kg, you mm. deadlift up. Yes. And squat? Uh, squat, uh, currently I think I'm, uh, I'm about at 180. So you okay, are okay, lift this 180 squats. Mm. Say so, okay, how many kg? Uh, Mimi uh, niko 100. So 100 kg. 100 kg yes. at 52, mm. and she's lifting 180 kg. Squatting. Squatting. Mm. Strong. <laughs> Power <hiko. laughs> well, Sky tissue. Sky tissue. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, to wind up, yes. just send uh, our people, our, our sponsors, friends, family, at least to subscribe and share this video. Eh, kuna time, kama mm. unaona, umtawachi video mapema, kuna time, uneza come through, uneza come, mm. unitafute, unisponse mm. penye, un, unafeel uko comfortable. Mm. Uh, in the meantime, sisau ku, kunifollow Instagram, maflavor, mm -hmm. utona tu picha angu, TikTok the same, Facebook the same. Mm. Na, sisao kusubscribe kwa hii channel, yeah. just zeki, na ufinye hiyo notification eh, bell, mm -hmm. ni upate our next video. Yeah, sure. So, so tutakuona on May 28th. May indakuwa ground, takuwa yes. ground. Jua sayi nisha ingi ya industry, mini power lift our camera. <laughs> Sini watu wa fitness, yes. generally tuko kwa fitness. Mm. It doesn't matter kama in power lifter, mm. ama bodybuilder, ama mtu wa aerobics, wajua watu aerobics na wajua. Mm. So, at least find something to do. Yes. Especially Pandora Fitness. Mm. So guys, thank you for watching. And make sure me follow my flavor pale YouTube and TikTok. I mean uh, Instagram. Instagram, TikTok, TikTok Facebook. Facebook. Mm. And Pium Tebele kwa Jimmy yake hapa ngong. Uh, the Cage Fitness. Mm. Tu hapa tu kenda tu njia ololua. Mm. Hapa Madhari. Mm. We are in a safe area. So guys, cheers and uh, see you next time. <laughs>